DHU off. And the lunar splash surprised everyone, including NASA scientists. They expected to find just teaspoons of water. Instead, we found maybe about a dozen of these two gallon buckets worth of water. And looked off of the In October, NASA sent a spacecraft hurtling into a crater near the moon's south pole. Special cameras recorded the mile high plume of debris. And just this week, researchers found the chemical markers that indicate frozen water. Now we have so much more to explore and so much more to find out. If there is significant amounts of water, it could be broken down into elements for rocket fuel or even provide drinking water for astronauts, paving the way for a possible lunar base. But that's still well beyond the horizon. It's one thing to know ice exists on the moon. It's another thing to be able to get it out of the ground in quantities that are usable. Still, it's a giant leap from a supposedly dusty, dry moon Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin visited 40 years ago. This is not your father's moon. Uh, rather than a dead and, and unchanging world, it could in fact be a very dynamic uh, and interesting one. A moon that we may now all look at just a little differently. Daniel Seberg, CBS News, New York.